Hello friends, welcome back. So today we will discuss about the differences between BDD and TDD. BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development. TDD stands for Test Driven Development. First we will go with the TDD. TDD is a Test Driven Development. Before going into the text, we will see this diagram now. So in the TDD, what we will do exactly? So in, in the test driven development, first we will create the test cases. First we will create the test cases and run those test cases to fail the code. And based on this test case, we will develop the code. Based on this test case, we will develop the code and implement that code and we will rerun that test case again. And if it is successful, we will run another test. If it is not successful, we will make a change again for that existing code or refactor the code again rerun the test or create a new test and run it again this is a cyclic process so TDD is a software development method so here the both the test driven development and also the behavior driven development that is BDD both are software development methods in both methods, TDD and BDD, we first create the test. We first create the test and then develop the code and refactor the code underlying those tests. But there is a minute difference between TDD and DDD. We will explain when it comes to the BDD part. TDD method gives the improved code quality. How that is possible? Okay. In TDD, what they do exactly is, as I said before, they will create a test set. They will create one, they will create one test case, okay, and they will run the test case. And they implement the code, and then implement the code, and if there are any changes, or if the test case fails, again they will change this code. Okay, if the test case is passed, and they will create another test case. Again they run the code on top of it. And if it is passed, if it is successful, they will create another test. If not, again they will change the code. So they will change the existing code. When they are keep on visiting the same existing code every time, so make sure that they, all the developers will make sure that there is no fault in the code. So in this way, they improve the code quality in TDD method. And the TDD method, all the test cases will be developed by the developers only. So interaction between, in TDD method, the interaction is only between the developers. So there is no other per third per second person is involved in this TDD concept. And test cases are mostly of technical in nature. Test cases are mostly in technical nature where the product owner or a business analyst will not understand what the test cases deals what. I hope you understood what is meant by TDD. Again, to clarify again, second, TDD is a software development method. Initially, here we create the test and then develop the code and run the test. If any changes required, again they rerun the test, again change the code, again rerun the test. I'll tell a, a small example how we uh, I encountered this one when when I uh, attended Agile training in few months or uh, few months back, I believe. My coach has not taught me anything about the Agile, tech, Agile, Agile concept. So he told me to go through the objective questions. Okay, objective questions of all the Agile. So when I attempted first time, I got only 55%. I got only 50% successful rate. So what my coach has done is, go and read the Agile concepts again. Go and read the Agile guidelines or the concepts, which are the questions you attempted wrong. So I read the, all the Agile guidelines, okay, and re-attempted the test. Second, what I did, I re-attempted the test, second time, I got 65% this time. So again, the course said, okay, now again read the Agile guidelines, okay, Agile guidelines and go to the Agile concepts, okay. What is the agile principles, agile concepts, what is current everything. 
second third attempt i got 80% 80% of the 80% of the marks so when i read the 80% of the marks totally i understood what is in the agile because i read i read the agile concepts around minimum 3 to 4 times later i understood what is agile so here the test driven development is also first they test it later they develop the code this is agile this is the test driven development now we'll go with the behavior driven development in the behavior development is also a software development method here the main difference is instead of writing a test case instead of instead of writing a test case we write the test behaviors or a test scenario okay in the jerkin language how how the test condition behaves in a in a jerkin language we write like given when and then in the behavior driven development product owner developers and qa will always will be involved this is called three amigos okay these method this method the behavior driven development method is upgraded from the tdd by seeing the flaws in tdd because the tdd test cases is not understood not understandable by the uh, product owners or the qa only understood by the developers so they came up with a concept called bdd where the test cases were written here the test case is not written here the test behavior is written in a jerkin language jerkin language is a plain english okay plain english language where everyone can understand for example here example you are checking a gmail concept okay gmail login here what they do is launch the gmail after opening the gmail login page enter the user id and password enter the user id and password and click on the login button click on login button then i should able to log in and see the gmail inbox gmail inbox yes or no this is my test this is my the plain english test cases so it's understandable by everyone here the behavior is tested in the in the bdd the behavior is tested not the test case but in the tdd the test driven development method is a test case is tested in bdd the behavior is tested what is the difference we'll explain the next one so in, if you see the diagram bdd and also tdd the diagram looks simple diagram looks simple and also same same to the tdd and dd the difference is the difference between tdd and dd is here the po developers and qas are involved where they'll give the feedback okay these people will give the feedback on the product developed on the product developed always product will be refined always product will be refined to a better requirements so there you will get a better product in the bdd i hope you got the point so to we'll see the differences in majorly now the tdd and bdd differences test driven development stands for and bdd stand for the behavior driven development it focuses on how the functionality is impacted it focuses on how the functionality is implemented in the behavior driven development here how the behavior of the application is implemented from the end user's perspective here the difference is from end user's perspective in both places the functionality is implemented in the behavior driven development method it is functionality is implemented from end user's perspective because here the feedback is there from both qas and product owners qas is and product owners, they are giving the feedback every time the product is refined second point is changes in how the application functions impacts a lot on the test cases in tdd impacts on impacts a lot on the test case in tdd bdd scenarios are not much impacted by the functionality changes by the functionality changes how it is will uh, will explain you one small example then we'll understand how the test case are impacted in the tdd and why in bdd it is not impacted right okay so
okay for example you are creating an account for example uh, how to open the uh, small uh, screen we will go to the uh, one white screen here okay you are creating an account okay this is the scenario this is the initial test case in the tdd model and also in the bdd model creating a test case here when they are creating a test case they create a test case they create and they create a test case to create an account the test case is to create a account create account here they don't consider all other parameters they don't consider any other parameter this is the first test case now we will see the second test case now In the second test case how it is they introduce a few more additional parameters based on the requirements the first second test case is about the now the title is included mr and gender is also included gender is male and female male and female is included and mr or mrs okay in the first test case the creating creating an account irrespective of this title and also gender in the second test case we are introduced a new parameter that is mr and also gender this is title okay title is introduced the first test case will fail after developing the second functionality after developing the second functionality the first test case fails because in the second test case we will able to proceed only if the title and gender are matches example mr is there there should be male combination okay and mr is there if you are selecting a female combination it will not proceed at all as all now this this combination is must but in the first test case there is no combination of the title and also gender so second test case fail in the after the developing the second condition but here in the bdd what we are doing we are testing the behavior we are testing the behavior in specific conditions so here our our uh, the jerkin language text will be given when and then given when and then given is create an account given is all the account details are entered all the customer details are entered like uh, like the name title gender and the address details are entered okay and when click on submit click on submit and uh, then what happen then is account created is successful is successful okay so here what are the change in the parameters this always or or our feature is always successful yes or no so in the tdd the changes how the application functions impact a lot on the test case in tdd bdd scenarios are not much impacted by the functionality changes i hope you understood the difference now now we'll see the collaboration is required only between the developers here the collaboration is required between all the stakeholders includes product owner and developers and qa and if required another stakeholders where the feedback is given in every sprint and tools for developing test cases like jnet they'll be using and init or test ng here cucumber framework will be used cucumber test case are written in the jerkin language okay jerkin language and mostly code will be defect free why because in every test case they are rechecking the existing code modifying the existing code so therefore the code will be mostly defect free here the defects chances of finding a defect in uat phase or in the production phase is possible but here the product is product is more quality more, more having the more quality than in the tdd is it to modify the code for future maintenance and difficult to modify the code for future maintenance that is another difference in tdd i am not concerned about the output i am not concerned about the output only thing needed is to carry out test in a particular way i am not concerned about whether the test case is run or not whether it is successful or not i am not checking any other conditions and bdd i don't mind how you come up with the output 
except the output has to be correct under the given condition. Output has to be correct under the under the given conditions. You have to remember under the given conditions. So it means that you are checking the end user perspective. End user perspective. The product should be right. So the test driven development and behavior development both are software development methods. But in test driven development, we write the test cases. In behavior development. We write the test scenarios or the test behaviors from the end user's perspective. In the behavior driven development, this collaboration of the stakeholders is required. In the test driven development method, only the developers involved. So there is a lot. There is a difference between major difference between the test driven and behavior driven development. So I hope you understood this one. If you have any queries, please uh, comment in the comment below. and also please uh, subscribe to my channel for the more videos like this thank you thanks for watching see you again and also you can visit my websites so skse2z.com where you can find the uh, text part of the same video